What is going on YouTube is Flawfish here and I've got some breaking news for you guys as Dave Norris has just been fired of GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs and in his place they have hired Don Cherry as new GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs. That is right, Dave Norris has officially been fired and Don Cherry has been hired. So the league actually just went into a bit of a fantasy draft frenzy too and Don Cherry's kind of doing all his scouting and stuff and he knows what type of makeup he wants for his team. He's going to be getting a whole bunch of good old Canadian boys on that team. Let's go ahead and let's see who they're going to be and let's go into the draft day. Let's see where the Leafs are going to wind up. They're spinning the lottery balls right now and the Leafs wind up with the 29th pick in the fantasy draft. Vancouver has the first pick. Let's see where who goes where. So Taze goes second overall. Ovechkin goes 5th overall, Tavares goes 6th, Price goes 8th, uh, let's see, any other big names, Datsu dropped to 11th, Chara, Malkin, Lundqvist, Giroux at 15th, Couture got picked at 16th, no one is actually on the same team that they started out with so far, uh, that's kind of actually shocking. Alright, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, PK Subban gets picked, Ryan McDonough gets picked, who are the Leafs going to choose? And it looks like they have a few options here as far as who to pick. But they're going to scroll down the list to make sure that they can get um, they can get the best bang for their buck from a Canadian. Let's see. We got Nugent Hawkins, Braden Shen, uh, Galchenyuk is American. No use for him. Uh, Latang is not bad. 89 overall defenseman. Not bad. Let's, let's look at the Canadian goalies, though. Let's look at overalls here. See if we can get a good old Canadian goalie in here. Cam Ward might be a pretty good pickup, actually. So we'll, we'll look into him a little bit. But I think we're going to want to go with Duncan Keith or someone with a little bit younger age. Maybe Chris Letang wouldn't be actually a bad fit. We'll see what his contract's like. And nine years at $7.25 million. Definitely not going to have to worry about re-signing him at all. Uh, so it's either him or Jamie Benn. Uh, let's take, let's take Letang. So we're going to take Letang here, and Jamie Benn gets picked next. The one player I probably wanted over Letang, and he gets picked next. So. Alright, so he simmed through the rest of the draft here, just to kind of showcase where we're going to stand. And so you guys didn't have to listen to rambling for about 20 minutes or so. And so let's go ahead and let's look at the team here. This is straight out of the draft. And let's just go look at contracts. Probably the easiest way to go here. So let's start by overall. So we got Bergeron, Latang, Bomeister, Alzner, Bieksa, Pronger, Kunitz, Ferentz, um, Vermette, Ribeiro, Reed, Dupuis, Prust, Ward, Gordon, McKinnon, uh, Gregory Campbell, Druen, Mantha, Darnell Nurse. And that is all we have on the main roster. In the system, we have Bertuzzi, Willie Mitchell, Derek Dorsett, and then Cuckoo, and a whole bunch of other prospects as well. Our goaltenders are Wedgwood and Visitine in the um, minors, and then Luongo and Harding in the big, on the big club. So Luongo finds his way to Toronto after all, and we got ourselves a pretty good team right now. So let's go ahead and let's first off do what is all important and do... Let's go do some staff upgrades because normally you have enough right away to do an upgrade or two. And let's upgrade our amateur scout because we're going to need those points. Or that or... Yeah. Uh, da, da. Yeah. Amateur scout I'm okay without for right now. Let's go ahead and let's do it. assistant coach because you can upgrade the amateur scout over the course of the year. So let's hang up the phone. And let's go to the regular, let's listen to the regular season here. See how the boys perform in front of Don Cherry himself. So we're expecting 42 wins and I have a three year contract. Well, Don Cherry has a three year contract. So it's looking pretty good here. All right. And let's send him to a scouting assignment. So this year is going to be the year of the defenseman and fours, but I think we're going to really want to pay attention to. Uh, some QMJHL forwards. So let's go ahead and um, sort by potential here. There we go. So yeah, we've got. Um, let's just look throughout the leagues here. I think we're gonna want to go to uh, the WHL. I think that's probably gonna be the best bet for us. Let's go ahead and let's look at them. 
and because there's some pretty good forward prospects out there so let's go ahead and do that and let's sim forward again up to the first game with the Montreal Canadiens so let's see 4-1 win and we won, we won our first game too so far so good Bowman is with four goals the team is on a roll so far 3-0 through preseason and finally getting their first loss against the Florida Panthers but they're going to face the 3-1 Montreal Canadiens and absolutely demolish them 5-1. They're facing the Bruins, lose 3-2 in overtime. So pretty good start for the preseason for the boys in blue. And then a 7-0 loss. Uh, actually, stop simulation because we're going to have to make sure we're under the cap here. And So let's go ahead and let's see our contracts. Because again, we are very up tight against the cap so not bad at all um yeah pretty good pretty good start all right so i think we might want to look at bringing in a couple of these players up from the minors because they aren't on two-way contracts i think willie mitchell is going to be someone we have to clear room for though so let's see who we can bring up from the big from the big league squad here on the defensive end I think Darnell Nurse will benefit from a year in the minors so let's go ahead and let's actually do some roster moves here there we go and let's send Darnell Nurse down he's been good he's been getting all at the start but I think what we're really gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make sure we have uh, some veteran presence in here and I think Darnell Nurse would probably be better off um, in the in the minor system so let us swap him with Willie Mitchell so we'll get Willie Mitchell up here which I don't mind at all sending nurse back down to juniors for a year and let's see who else we have here um, let's sort by who we don't have to waive um, let's see so we can actually send all these guys down so we actually have a little bit of wiggle room with Matt Reed that's a very nice contract for us uh, Mantha, we could send down and swap him with Bertuzzi, but will he benefit from a year? In, I think he'll benefit more from a year in junior, so we'll send him down as well, and we will swap him with Todd Bertuzzi. Um, actually, we need to get some cap in here, so let's get Derek Dorsett in, and then we will also swap um, Jonathan Drouin with uh, Todd Bertuzzi. There we go. So now we got some salary cap available. We have about two million available or so, which is very, very nice. And it will help us definitely maintain some stuff. And let's just swap. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just call him up. And then let's send, let's make sure we send um, him back down to, back down to the minors. There we go, send him to the juniors. And I think that is all we really need to have here. There we go. We got all our players in junior that we need to. And actually, you know what? We need to call these guys up and then send them down. Uh, yes, send the juniors. And then we will keep we'll keep Cuckoo and Reinhardt up, but we will send Morrissey down. There we go. And yes, send the juniors. There we go. Uh, and then we'll just go best lines and perfect. So we got a little bit over 3 million in cap space, which is nice and convenient for us. And we're definitely in better shoes than we were as far as getting players developed for the upcoming season. As sending them down to the junior will definitely be very, 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 very helpful. So let's go ahead and let us go on to the first game against the Montreal Canadiens. This is where... We will just simulate the game and see if we can notch up the victory. Let's go ahead and let's see what can happen here. So let's go six speed. And we're facing off against the Montreal Canadiens on an early power play, but nothing is going on for the team. They kill off a power play for the Canadiens. Shots are fairly even. No one has hit the score sheet in the first period yet. And we're into the second period. We're 15 minutes in. No one. And there we go. Mike Ribeiro opens up the scoring for the good old Canadian boys here. And now it's 2-0 off a Boyd Gordon goal. Anderson looking a little bit shaky here, allowing two goals on 19 shots only. Looks like they're playing pretty good in net. Luongo's doing really well for the Leafs. Looks like the good old Canadian boys are getting off to a very, very strong start. And we got a 3-0 goal. 
And 3-1, gotch, ruining the shutout on the Wongo in the last minute. This is very realistic because the Wongo loses so many shutouts in the last minute. But nonetheless, Prust does very well in that game. Bertuzzi makes a huge impact. This team is going to definitely be hitting hard. And that's going to be the goal of this team. To make sure we're hitting hard and make sure we're delivering some pretty good stuff. Latang minus one, Pronger four hit. So Pronger played just over 20 minutes. Very good start from the team. Bergeron playing 25 minutes. That's what we like to see. And yeah, so anyways guys, that is the first episode of the BGM of the good old Canadian boys and the adventure of Don Cherry. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, toss a like, a rating, and leave a comment below. As always, take it easy and peace out.